Hello, this is the Trades 8 U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for the week beginning Monday the 9th and ending Friday the 13th, 2019. It is Friday the 13th week. Well, that's great. We got one more week before options expiration, and then we head into the Christmas holiday, and things slow down, which is a funny thing to say based on how slow things have been uh, here on the stock side for a while here. But it is what it is. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart. Of the broad market and futures form so we had a dip this week early came back up and ended up closing basically right where we uh, had closed the prior week i'll see, show you that in a few minutes let's go through the daily charts crude oil down 28 cents on friday but it was up for the week 58.92 gold down a uh, dollar 20 and didn't do much for the week s p cash uh look at the gaps though on this, this the s p does not something that gaps as much look at the gaps there 28.48 um that's not very exciting the nasdaq 100 down or up 88.97 uh, continues to be a problem. The Sox up 26.55. The Biotechs up 41.19. Russell 2000 gains 19 points. And that's a high range base breakout potential there on the Russell, which is always a good sign. Because remember, after Christmas, we're coming into what's usually a great time of the year. Uh, so we'll see what happens. The VIX recedes after popping back up to 18. Closes at 1362, down 90 cents on Friday. The trend closing at 0.71. The 10 day at 0.95. NASDAQ volume 2 billion shares. It's actually the lightest of the week. Not very exciting. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, thir plus 13.10, the best of the week, and plus 13.77 on the New York, the best of the month. But it was down the, earlier in the week, so we'll see what happens. Google gains $12.43. That's a new closing high on Google with some of the key players stepping aside to let other people take over, which makes a lot of sense. Apple up $5.13. That's a new closing high on Apple. As well, Netflix up four dollars and forty nine cents. Amazon up eleven dollars and twelve cents. Tesla up five dollars and fifty two cents. Facebook up a dollar sixty nine. Goldman Sachs up seven dollars and forty four cents. That's a new closing high on Goldman Sachs. Um, I think if I go to projection mode, though, yep, there it is. Thirteen sell signal on Goldman Sachs. The first one of the entire year on this closing high. So we'll see what that means. TLT, the twenty year bond ETF, down seventy seven cents. The Dow was up three hundred thirty seven. And that's it. Let's look at the uh, intra-week action, 10-minute candles on the ES. Let me get rid of this thing. So we've got, uh, you know, remember the prior week had been Thanksgiving. So that the, the the close you see way off here to the left is the prior Friday's close, which is a half day to begin with. Uh, but we did close. And here's the thing. So Monday we go down. Tuesday we gapped down big and tried to recover. Wednesday we gapped up a little bit. We're flat. Thursday was flat, and Friday we gap up. And where do we end up? We basically closed a point higher than where we started the week. It's almost amazing. Like nothing for the whole week. Nasdaq side, same story. A point lower than where we started the week. It's just, it's truly remarkable to see. All right. In terms of economic data coming out in the week ahead, um, it's not a super heavy week, but there's a Fed meeting. But let's look. Monday, nothing. Tuesday, the NFIB Small Business Index revised non farm productivity. You know, labor cost, 10-year bond auction. Wednesday, CPI, crude oil inventories, the two-day Fed meeting with the announcement at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. The federal funds rate uh, is there. And then the uh, press conference 30 minutes later on Thursday, PPI, the initial and continuing jobless claims numbers, Natty Gas, 30-year bond auction. Friday, retail sales, import prices, business inventories. And that's it. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great Trading week, two weeks to go.